We're all off to sunny Spain. <laughs> España. Yeah. Yay, it's getting exciting now. The time has come. <laughs> the time has come. We're off to a ferry. Yeah. Brittany ferries in Plymouth. Um, we're guessing check-in starts in about 25 minutes. We're 13 minutes away. We're off. Come yeah. with us. Are you coming with us? Are you, gonna, are you gonna come on the boat with us to Spain? Come on. Come on then. <laughs> come on then. Are you still nervous? Right. Check it. Right, so we've made it just. <laughs> yeah, just. Yeah. Got caught up in a major traffic works is what they called it. Uh, what do we need? Oh no! Hello! Hi there, yeah, the Santander crossing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if I put you on lane number seven, please. Alright. Seven. seven. <laughs> yeah. Love thank you, you, thank you. Lane number seven. I'm guessing just show her that if she asks and your passport. Yeah. She just got a load of paper. So it's just a reference. Should be alright. Oh, I'm guessing so. to show you. Passports please. Yep, that's lovely. Thank that's great, yep. thank you. <laughs> Ten meters, nine and a half foot, nine and a half, half foot. foot that's <laughs> Two point nine. Two point nine. Uh, right. Uh, lane eight. Lane eight. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's all fun and games, babe. Got our tickets. Oh, is this still on? It is. Right, let me just pick this up for a second. Guys, I don't know if you just heard what just happened there. Don't be mean. The lady gives us, just pass it here. Pass it here. A ticket. She passed us this, she says, uh, will you stick that to your windscreen, please? So Mazzy starts getting out of the van, to stick it on the outside of the windscreen. Cause I didn't know <laughs> what she meant. I was panicking. Anyway, we've got seats. We've got seats. seats. Right. So that's all right. So no one can take our seat. Excellent. I like that. Yeah. So everything is sorted. We are definitely getting on this ferry. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? We've only got two search teams there, so. All right. What's their search? Are we I'm going through here? Through here, through here yeah. yeah. But just give it two minutes, all right? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. Are we oh, getting oh, searched? Oh. How come he didn't? Search everyone, mother. 
right, we're in lane 18. Yep. Only just, only just, <laughs> we've been searched. We got picked on. <laughs> So right now we've got nothing to hide. <laughs> we seem to be searched quite a lot actually. Yeah. Especially the vans. Yeah. Rather than the motorhomes. So the security here is very tight, yeah. And there are a good four or five of them going round as van. They went in a couple of cupboards inside. Yeah, into the back came garage. In, searched all underneath with mirrors and stuff. And underwear, uh, underwear. Dirty washing dirty bag. Dirty washing bag. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So rather than them putting a hand in, Dan just tips everything out. Dirty knickers and bras and everything. <laughs> I could have whacked you. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't put his hand in. And now, it, well, he asked a woman to do it. He says there's the women's clothes in there. I says, yeah. And he, this woman was going to do it. So I just emptied it all on the floor so they wouldn't have to touch it and they didn't oh, touch it. God. Um, anyway, we're, we're here. Yeah. No dash cams allowed. So we've had to unplug his dash cam Is while it? we're getting on, which I find strange. For security, yeah, security reasons, reasons, obviously. Yeah. But you know, I've seen loads of people getting on and showing footage of them driving down. Well, we did when we went to Ireland. We did. Yeah, yeah. But we're not allowed here, so. Don't know. But you've got to remember, we are only told that because we got stopped, whereas all the other people just went flying through. Good point. So they probably weren't aware of it. Good point. Yeah, but um, yeah, there's a lot of people here actually, isn't there? A lot a of motor lot. homes. A lot. A lot. Of homes. So yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> waiting now. What time is it? Uh, half past two. They reckon you start boarding about an hour before you set off, so we should be going in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. We, I'm dreading for the fact because there's so many here that we're not going to get our air <laughs> when we get there. Oh, the, the first stop, the air. Oh, if we don't get that, we don't know what we're doing. Well, there is others, just is not there? in Santander. Yeah, but you're going to go into a panic mode. I won't. You will. I will. <laughs> you will. I will. <laughs> It's wow. three o'clock. I know, we're a bit late getting on. We're we? sailing in 45 minutes, <clears throat> Mazzy, and not a single car's got on yet. It better yeah. not go without us. <laughs> There's hundreds of us waiting to get on, <laughs> and not a single one of us has got on. They're oh. going to forget about us. Just had the neighbour next door asked Dan, could he help him do his headlights, the sticker things? <laughs> yeah, don't know how to do it. You can't legally really drive at night anyway, can you, with your eyes? I so. can legally. Well, you can legally, but I mean, you can't at night. Well, I can. I just don't want to, because I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blind as a bat. <laughs> Update you as soon as we have anything. Yeah. And we're on. We're on. We're finally on. We are on. <laughs> we're supposed to be setting off in 30 minutes, and we've only just made it on. There's loads back there. They're not even going to make it. They're not going to get on in time. I know. We're, again, though, we were one of the last to get on. I feel like it wasn't fairly done, <laughs> but it don't matter. Actually, it might mean we're one of the first to get off, look. In it. Ah. I doubt it, because we're in the middle. So we're on holiday. Oh. <laughs> The stress is almost over. Yeah, we're on the Just need to unwind now, don't we? Yeah. So that is a box of quality streets for Mazzy. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. <laughs> I'm getting a bit peckish. I think all three of us are getting hungry. Are you hungry? Three of us? Well, I brought John with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying boat prices for a beer. We just went upstairs to check on us reclining chairs for the night. It's not happening. <laughs> and it's like a little room. And there's just one guy in there. And he's on the chair, which is next to our two chairs. There's three, they're in three in a row, aren't they? Like yeah, three, yeah, three in a row. So we'd be sat next to him. He's got a big rucksack on one of our chairs. And um, Mazzy doesn't want to sleep there, apparently. Absolutely not. No chance. Don't you fancy being no. in the middle of me and him? No. <laughs> Get to check. And we're off. Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> <laughs> First time in, uh, in Spain, isn't it? Oh, you're going to love this. Oh, we're off. We're actually moving. We're moving. Are you alright over there, Mazzy? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, you can see the sea over there, look. Ooh, you're gonna love this. So where we go? Goodbye Plymouth. Goodbye England. I'd love to see.
say I'm going to miss you, but I don't think I am. 25 degrees over in Santander. On behalf of Captain Quick and confused. Crew, we would like to welcome you on board the Pont Aven. Very confused. We'll be arriving in Santander. Can someone tell me why? 12.15 p.m. British time. What? The time you on 12.15 we're going to arrive tomorrow we morning. Sure British time. Yeah. Thank which is 1.15 their time. Can I ask what? why a man said to me who works on the ship said bonjour to me when we got on and then the first time they put this announcement on it started in French and then in English and now in Spanish. It's probably a Spanish boat. So why French? I don't get it. I'm enjoying these. French. Starting with French. Every announcement is starting in French. I'm going to show them these lucky things. I've never seen these before. Dairy leaf filled crackers. Yeah, they're wholemeal. Oh, I nearly lost it. <laughs> never seen them before. They're so nice. I wonder if it stopped at France first and then came to England and then on to Spain. That's what I'm thinking. We're starting to wonder if we've got on the wrong boat. What language was that one? English doesn't sound too important on this boat and neither does um, Spanish. All the people announcing and stuff and the people working here are French. Nothing to do with me. It's got to be the right boat hasn't it? It's got to be. Right, they they want to let us on without the right ticket. I went back out to go and get a hot chocolate. Nah. So we are 30 minutes into the trip and somebody's feeling sick already. Bless her. And we didn't buy any sickness tablets because what I thought was if you're going to feel sick they're going to have sickness tablets for sale on the boat surely. Surely. So we didn't buy any. So she's just gone to the toilet, she's going to come back. We've only been on the boat 30 minutes. And then I think I'm going to have to go see if I can find a shop on this mega massive boat. Yeah. I feel bad for her because she's got another 19 hours of this. What can I do? You alright? having to lay down I really don't feel very well not even been on here an hour yet <laughs> Dan's had to go and try and find me some sickness tablets I feel like I've drunken a bottle of whiskey and I've not even had a touch of drink so yeah not feeling good you all right love thank you darling you're very welcome apparently they're not allowed to sell move. tablets can't sell tablets, uh, so acupressure pressure bands. I know I should have prepared and got these anyway, because I know what I'm like on both. But this one, I feel really terrible on this one. You're struggling, aren't you? Yeah, really, really bad. Not even been on here an hour, ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we, you were gonna get me a hot chocolate. I haven't found a hot chocolate. I've only found alcoholic drinks. Oh no, thank you. I can't find hot chocolate. Are you alright for everything, John? Yeah, alright. We're alright. Thank you, baby. Okay then. So we're out on the deck. I'm the only one out here at the moment. Look at them uh, smoke coming out of the chimneys there. It's not going to plan, isn't this uh, ferry trip? It's going to be dark in about an hour, I think. Have you noticed, on ferries, or out at sea should I say, it's never as calm, it's always like this isn't it, it's always foggy and miserable and horrible, rocking all over the place, honestly I'm struggling a bit, but poor Mazzy, <laughs> bless her. 
She's been sick once. She's, I think she's found some comfort. She's put her headphones on, got her head down. I feel really bad for her. She keeps, when she does wake up, she apologises and I said, don't oh, worry about it. Just, I hope, uh, I just want this trip to end now. I want to be in Spain because I just feel for her so much. On the plus side, I'm enjoying myself. I'm getting tired now, I'll be honest, but uh, it's exciting, isn't it, going on the boat? And I'll tell you what, a lot of room on here. So many chairs free. It's nearly empty, we've just had a singer on, she was good. But poor Mazzy down here, look. We've got a nice little corner here. There she is. She'll get through it. But honestly, these sickness bands, I think they're a waste of money. Nine, over nine euros. Oh, bless her. set off from Plymouth yeah. and we've gone around France and we've just entered <coughs> well we haven't just entered the Bay of Biscay Which and apparently that's the rough bit I don't know why it can be rough but it's not it's actually very calm at the moment and it's very warm outside lovely yeah, you can and warm feel that wind temperature change can't Beautiful. you like the holiday weather uh, and it doesn't look like there's far to go but it's seven more hours I, yeah. I'm guessing we're going to arrive a bit early, maybe an hour and a half early. Yeah, we're, su we're supposed to be arriving at quarter past twelve. Quarter past one Spanish time. But I've just been discussing with Dan what, what is the plan when we get to wherever we're getting to. And I think the plan is just chilling out. Dan wants to go to bed. Um, I've only had an hour's sleep. Yeah, obviously I've had loads of sleep, but I'm just not proper rest and I need a shower so bad <laughs> so this is the time we'd normally get or I'd normally get up in the morning five o'clock isn't it yep. um well, yeah I'm just waiting for the sun <laughs> you'd be looking forward to that we were going to go off and get some breakfast this morning but I still I'm struggling to walk walk on the boat it's, it's a nightmare even you are though aren't you nah so we're I've gonna... got sea legs so we're going to see about breakfast in the morning anyway. Uh, decided we're going to try and go for breakfast, see how I feel. <laughs> it's the first time she's stood up. Yes, properly, without, yeah. Swimming pool there. Yeah, swimming pool, which I think it's only open in summer. I wonder if people use it. Just doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd want to have a swim, really. No, it does seem a bit peculiar, but I don't know, it's for their own, innit? So yeah, we haven't had a look around, unfortunately. No, I'm <laughs> We might so do, sorry. we might do, before we get off. Yeah, I'm so excited. Price list, Phil English. £6.25. I'll be honest, I did hear the breakfasts aren't very good, but hey, we'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> No, no tomato. Thank you. 
None of the eggs look great. <laughs> right, as I'm not able to eat a lot, I'm going to have croissant, I think. I croissant. don't know. Yeah, or a roll. Make your mind up. I think I might have a croissant. Yeah. What, are, what are the different sorts? Yeah, I'll have this one, please, darling. Thank you. This is it, Mazzy. The start of hell. The hell? Why? No brown sauce. Not oh. even on the ferry. Well, luckily you brought some. <laughs> I didn't like the look of the eggs. Too runny for looking. For you, but it'll be for anyone else. They're fine. And the um, it was either them or scrambled eggs, and the scrambled were too wet. I like them like rubber. But it's a bit of something in my stomach, so I'm happy. Yeah. Did you get sugar for your coffee? I did. You got a green tea. I've got a green tea and a croissant. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to manage. Right, where do I begin? What up? Why me? How do I describe this? Mm. Right, firstly the toast was cold and didn't crunch, which I thought was quite odd. Mazzy ate that. It was half a piece of toast, one triangle. It was half I a like piece of bread which was slightly brown. I like cold toast. The eggs, mm. not not done enough for me and cold. The sausages are about three millimetres thick, you get two of them. Um, it's two bites basically, cold, but nice. Bacon, very thick, very nice, but cold. Beans, and I don't even know what that is, it's like a potato -y thing, a little round thing of potato. That were all right. Um, all in all, it's something you have to try, you know. For six pound fifteen, were it? Good price. If you're moaning now, you're going to be a nightmare this this next generation in Spain. Well, that's it. It's made me realise that everything we're used to in England is going to taste completely different over there. The only good thing about this breakfast, really, is the fact the plate didn't have a hole in it. A hole? Why? Or is that a good thing? Would it have been better if the plate did have a hole in it and it all <laughs> fell on <off> floor? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. No, in fairness, for the money, I'm happy. It's done the job and the bacon's lovely. How's your croissant? Nice, I'm just really struggling. <laughs> I'll be alright when I get off here, alright? <laughs> That's the room we were supposed to be sleeping in last night, but we decided against it. No can we get out of this side, Mazzy? Uh, would we want to go and grab our No. No. So I've been talking to a few guys on this uh, boat. You do get a lot of men travelling on their own and they do like to talk to everybody. One guy offered to let us use his shower this morning, which I thought were a very strange offer. Well, I was just laying there. So I didn't understand why he'd come over and off wanted to offer a UUV shower. Don't well, know. A peculiar, but hey ho. And another guy kind. who's brought a dog, and apparently all the dogs are kept in kennels behind all these funnel bits. And the owners keep going over to have a look at, see how the dogs are doing. I mean, that's so sad, but it is nice at least the owners can go and check up on them. Yeah. But I, I don't know, I just didn't think. I thought you could probably bring your dog yeah, on I did. I did. Anyway, it's certainly a lot warmer and now. And he got his boat cheaper. Oh no, but it worked out. No, actually then, he got his more expensive. Yes. Oh, that's quite nice. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. 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 But he got a cabin in that and his dog. So I'm walking away a bit disgusted that we got ripped off. He's going away thinking he got a bargain. And then he thought about it, and it's just seen as in the breakfast bar, and says, I know why yours is cheap, um, dearer than mine. Have I got this right way around? I know why yours were 50, 50 euros dearer than ours. 
than mine because there's two of you and there's one of me. Yeah. So but why. saying that then, if he'd paid for two of him, his would have been a normal lot. Yes. So it just always depends on when you book your Well, he ship. booked his, he said four months ago. Well, that's probably about when we did ours. No, no, no. A month ago, was it? Month. Two months? Six weeks, something like that. There, you can say you've seen one now. He's been looking for a whale and shark all trip. Yeah, I've Look. seen I've seen a fin whale, a blue whale, a sea whale, a minky whale. Little nose. Whoa, that's a odd looking one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at that one. I've been telling Mazzy, I think there's a conspiracy, you know. About what? Well, they have all these pictures of fish. Yeah. All these wildlife programs with all these massive whales <laughs> in and st stuff. You never see them, ever. I've never seen one. He reckons it's a conspiracy. It is, but not really there. No, they're not really. Like the earth is flat, is that what you're saying? This made me laugh as well. I was looking at these earlier, thinking, oh, these must be important points. <coughs> um, circa 1970, 2002. They're, they're not even old. Can you buy them? Is that what it is? It's This is our lovely living quarters. Yeah, this is where we spent a day. We were lucky, really, weren't we? Well, you were. You got that sofa. I was sat here. Yeah, there was one point I woke up. Well, I'd not wake up, but just opened my eyes. You weren't sitting there. You were laying down here. Yeah, I got so an hour. Yeah, don't give me that. <laughs> so, Mazzy can't make it up here. So, she's asked me to come up and film it quickly so she can see what she's missing out on. This is the very top the very front of the boat. I've come up to look for land. Still not seeing land, but we can't be far off. But there is this seagull here, just hovering in front of us all the way. It's weird, it's just rocking side to side in front of us. Let's just take a little walk around. I'm guessing they're lifeboats. I don't 12 of them there. They look a little bit different to the olden days, don't they? It's all sort of windy up here. It's quite dangerous actually. And this is looking down to uh, where Mazzy is in there somewhere. There's the pool. It is a very nice ship. Can't complain with the ship. Just wanted to check this out. Mazzy said that she saw a sign for games room. I thought we were going to have like snook tables and pool and stuff. No, no. Just silly games. Never been into this kind of thing myself. I'm just not one of these for spending a few quid to sit down and do that when you can do it on a game on your phone for free. So this has been my view for 16 hours. It's better than my view. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I am sick to death of seeing this painting. It's alright. I could look away, you could ask me a million questions about that painting and I'll know the answers to every one of them. All I've done is stare at that painting. It's an annoying painting. God, it's wild up here. One and a half hours to go, and I can see land. That's all you're getting. I'm going back downstairs. Don't get me wrong. Lovely and warm, really warm wind, but it's a bliss, blistery, blustery one. Oh, you were asleep, weren't you? I was starting to nod, yeah. Until the lady announced that there ain't bingo now, we're running out of time, we're gonna have a quick quiz. Quiz? A quiz, yeah. No, we're all waiting to get off the boat and they're gonna start a quiz. <laughs> Where the prize last night was a Britannia Ferries pen. 
I can't believe that. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but they did actually have some good entertainment on here last night. Well, I mean, I could hear it. I mean, I was laying down. Yeah, there were, well, there were one song in particular I really liked. I think it was the theme tune from Making a Murderer, the Netflix series. And the girl played it on violin. I think it was that song and it was beautiful. I don't, I think I must have missed that one. It's a beautiful song. But yeah, so you, I mean, you get entertainment as well, don't you? And they did a quiz as well and all that, didn't they? Yeah, pretty good. I was told there was going to be magicians and I hadn't seen a magician. Oh, really? What did you just find downstairs? What was that again? A little room downstairs with motorsport on now and one bloke sat in there on a sofa. And I'm wondering if they had Liverpool on in there last night and I didn't know. Could have done, couldn't they? You would have paid for that. You even said last night you would have paid for that, wouldn't you? 20 quid. Is that all you tight? Is that all Liverpool means to you? Only Ajax. 3 0. Easy. Where are we? Right, I might look rough. I might have been sick. It might have been horrendous 20 hours. But we've made it. Look, there's land. There's land. Here I'm we are. So excited. España. This is actually a palace just here, I think. Well, you can't say that unless you're 100% sure. Well, I am. <laughs> and there is a zoo near that, which I'm hoping we're going to get to tomorrow. Not a zoo. Well, there's, there's do so. No, it's not a zoo. It's not a zoo zoo. It's just like penguins in the wild. Oh, They've okay. got their own little pond and the sea lions. That's about it. Oh, is that where the restaurant is that you were telling me about? Uh, Earlier? no. Oh no, that was the elephants. Yeah, that was a different yeah. air. <laughs> that was if we can't get in the air we want to get in, we're going to one where there's some elephants, apparently. Oh, look at it. This is so exciting. I'm just enjoying the heat. Yeah. I it's a lovely heat. You just don't forget that summer holiday, a hot, a spa a Spanish heat. You don't. And it's hit us, and I Don't get us wrong. It's lovely. It's not red hot. No. But it's a warm wind. No, you could, yeah. It's lovely. And it's a bit windy, but. Right, I reckon we've got about 40 minutes till we're getting off. We're going round this corner. Kind of following. Parking in there. Boat ahead of us, actually. And then I think there's air, which we're trying to get to, is over there somewhere. Come on. <laughs> I just want to keep looking at it. Come on. I want to go see the landscape. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm only agreeing to go outside because it's actually warmer outside than it is in here. Yeah. It's a weird, it's a lot, a lot of buildings, high rises. Flats, apartments. Apartments, holiday apartments. Oh. Let's get out. And then hopefully we can start heading down to our boat, uh, our boat. <laughs> I'm out at home anytime soon. Check that out. Ah, oh, it's well good. <laughs> God, that looks busy, doesn't it? Where are we going to park a motorhome in a place like that? An air. <laughs> There's quite a few there, look. They might be the. Oh, yes. That might be, that might be the other air I was talking about. Oh, keep an eye on them, see if it's got some spaces. <laughs> Oh bless her. <laughs> there was just me and one other little lady. Well not I say little, she was five foot seven. Yeah, little <laughs> five foot two, the same as me. We were both very ill on the yeah, where are we going? We're guessing we're getting off here. Oh, over there. So that must be the air then. Yeah, I reckon we're going over there. So that's not the air we're going to. Oh, it isn't? No, that's the one which I saw in the air book, what we oh. got given. But it's not on any of the apps. We pay six pounds in there and there isn't many spaces. Yeah, look, a lot of them look like cars as well, didn't it? Anyway, we're here, we're here. Can you feel the heat? <laughs> Yay, made it back to the van. <laughs> I was starting to panic. Finding what our floor was, F3, was an absolute nightmare. Oh. 
Right, don't forget now, you're, part, you're driving on the other side of the road, honey. <coughs> okay. Here we go. You got your maps? I'm not ready. Well, you've had 20 minutes. I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, we were having internet trouble, Dan. Still am. Dan tried to get onto his own internet. Get you driving on the wrong side of the road now. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this bit. Just follow everyone else, Mazza. Yeah. And there we go, there was our beautiful baby that we were on for 20 odd hours. A bit rusty. <laughs> no, it was a nice boat. That's the first time I've seen it. Yeah, me too, because we never got, we, we actually never did get to see it, did we? Oh, there's the lifeboats. I was panicking to where they were, weren't I? I'll show you. There's the um, lifeboats. Yeah, very good, uh, very nice ferry. Right, okay, we got through all that business. I think that's it now, is it? <gasps> Check this amazing boat out. It is amazing. The Queen, Queen Victoria. Yeah, has it. the Queen Victoria. Oh my gosh, they've all got balconies with um, patio doors for their uh, little cabins. It's a bit like where we were just sleeping, one, one in, uh, isn't it? We weren't sleeping on nothing like that. Yeah, they've got for their own room. They've got like their own patios and proper like deck a bit. Oh, that looks well nice. Right. We are probably out of there now. <laughs> that was panic, 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 panic mode. I just went through a flashing <sighs> yellow light. Don't know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I'm know. just following him. Got to follow him because we have no idea what we're doing really at the minute. Well, it started off. We were going 3.6 kilometres. We're now we've now got 8.6 kilometres to go. Oh really? Well, we had to go that way through customs. Yeah, weren't no choice, was it? Right, do you know where you're going now then? Uh, no, I haven't got a clue. Oh dear, my dreaded fear, the, the first roundabout. <laughs> That's the way, darling. That's the spirit. Yeah, you've got to go around the um, wrong way, round a roundabout to us anyway, it's the wrong way. Something I have noticed. <clears throat> yeah. My Google Maps lady hasn't learnt any Spanish. Oh, silly Billy. Right, okay, we're approaching our air for the night. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get a space. I obviously had to put the camera down and constant, let Dan concentrate on dark driving because... <laughs> but, no, you're doing really well, babe. I'm actually quite impressed. Really proud of you, thank you. Um... Now where? Down Up there. there. Yep. And from what I saw, there's uh, there was like two spaces. Shut up! What's the point in telling me? Go to Alad and Kiriliadi Didiliya Road. I don't understand the words you're saying, love. Right. Start again, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just down here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping there is a space. It does look very full, but I think I saw one, maybe two. We'll just have to, fingers crossed. It's quite important because if we don't, we're not going to get around Santander. If we do, we're going to get around Santander. Is that Santander we just drove through? Yes, but that's like the city end, the port oh, end. Oh, I was going to say, it's no loss. But this is the night nice end. <laughs> Alright, it was horrendously um, busy, um, just, I don't Very know, hectic. hectic is the word. Wow, they know how to do the humps in Spain. 
Right, there's a spot there. Yep, there's a spot. So we were actually one of the first coming off the ferry, so we're extremely lucky. Spot there, spot yeah. there. Yeah. Thank God, because <laughs> I didn't want to be driving much more. I didn't either. Shall we go at this end? Just anywhere, Mind yeah. You, we don't want to be right next to Just the... get in. <laughs> no, we want to, um, and also these spaces look shorter, are they, or are they all the same? Shall we go in this one? I think if you moved up, it'll leave, give room for two others rather than one having to squeeze in. Yeah, just be a bit fair about it. So that's our view. <laughs> <laughs> it's grand. I'm just glad to get parked up. Thank you, honey. In fact, should we face that way? Because he opens his door same way as all. I was like, Stan, how do we pay for this? Stan's like, we don't pay. Free? Okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> right, anyway, we moved a bit more further down. Got a bit more room here. Right. Well, no, the reason was the other car must have been a, an English one, a British one, because his door opened on that side. So we, as doors would be opening right to each other, which wouldn't be cool. So I've come down here because this is another continental like ours. So we're not opening up together. Right, turn it off for a minute. Before the battery runs out, I just have to quickly say, I'm all over the place. <laughs> and you Spinning. are as well. I, I, I actually feel like I've had now two bottles of whiskey. I feel awful. Yeah, put your bands on. Yeah, put them on for me. Hey. Four euro fifty, there you go. Thank you, darling. Four euro fifty. There you go. Oh, you want them I think you, I think you need one. You're all over the place. Oh, that's horrible. Let's get on proper land, shall we? Get out of here. Nearly there, Mazzy. Nearly there. Just one more clip. One, <laughs> one more, more clip. clip. <laughs> and then I can go to bed. <laughs> we have some super thanks to give. Big super thank yous. Many, many <laughs> thanks to Lynn oh, and Tony. Tony. Thank you both. I haven't got the energy, I'm I sorry. Am busy <laughs> Thank 1956. Busy. Thank you so much. Robbo and Bob. Thank you, Rob and Bob. Thank Robbo. You. Oh, Robbo. Oh, I read that wrong, sorry. Thank you, Robbo and Bob. Tim Robinson. Thank you, Tim Robinson. <laughs> Peter Webster. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I should make an effort, shouldn't I? We're, we're struggling. You can I tell know. we're struggling. <laughs> going for a bimbo. Thank, going for a bimbo. Thank I you so much. I don't much. know if that's a man or a woman. <laughs> or both. I don't know. Why are you going for a bimbo, though? What does that going mean? Going for a walk. We say this every time. A bimbo oh, is going for a stroll, a wander. I don't know. I'm half asleep. Because I had to look it up to find out what it meant, and I thought that's a really oh. nice name. A bimbo. Okay. I'm off for a bimbo. <laughs> Cynthia Malinach. Thank you, Cynthia. Well, thank you so, so much. And Kenzie and Rye. Oh, thank you, Kenzie and Rye. Thank you all. Thank you very, very much, guys, yeah. for your support. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It is just travelling to where we've gotten to. Tomorrow's going to be a fresh day. Showers, feeling fresh, feel loads of sleep, bit of food. I was really hoping to do a proper boat tour, but it just didn't happen. We, didn't, we didn't even didn't, see the cinema. You didn't feel comfortable leaving me anyway, no. because I was asleep. We had cameras and stuff on the table, and he just doesn't like leaving me anyway. I don't know where the cinema was. Never found that. No. Uh, restaurants, we just found the breakfast place this morning. Well, we made a packed lunch for yesterday, although you didn't have none of it, did we? I mean, we did throw quite a bit of it away, really, and none of it would have been good this morning, but we experienced the breakfast. Which was all right. Yeah, very difficult travelling to Santander without a cabin. We'll definitely get a cabin next time. I think I want a cabin for the fact that I was so ill, yeah. really ill, that then if I had a cabin, you can just leave me in there and you can just go off and we ain't got to worry. And have a party. We ain't got to worry about my, you know, security of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, cabin on the way home. I've been saying that all day. <laughs> and the... Uh, Although it was a bit, it wasn't even rough, really. It wasn't. No, it's just me. It's just you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. that was only in the first few hours. It got really, when we got to the Bay of Biscan, whatever it's called, where everyone says it can get really bad there, it was actually very calm. I think the boat mm. slowed down through that bit because we were well ahead of time. 
Yeah. I'm sure he did. Let's go back talking about the price of rooms, though. We weren't being... T well, it weren't being not tight, but, you know, we were being careful. 110 quid, that would have cost us extra for, for that 20, room. Could, for 20 hours. Yeah. You know, you have to weigh it up, don't you? You know, if you're trying to save a few bucks, you know. Don't get me wrong, if it had been a longer haul, we would have definitely got one. Yeah. I didn't I didn't realise how poorly I was going to be. No. But definitely on the way home, I think we're going to have to get one. <laughs> if we ever come back. Yeah. Well, I don't have to. You do. <laughs> anyway, we're here. We're here. Right. We'll catch yeah. you all tomorrow. We'll try and get the scooters out, I think, tomorrow and go for a trip down to Santander. We'll go for a bimble. And many thanks to Northerners <laughs> on tour because they've done this before and I've basically got ideas from them of oh, where the to go. Oh, lovely Lisa. Um, they went on their scooters into Santander. So Wait, what, get, from here? I think they stayed here, yeah. Yeah, they did. Oh. Because just down here is like a, it's, I don't know, like a skateboard park. Oh, but it's we'll more for bikes. Ya. More for bikes. And he went on it on his oh, skate scooter. So we'll go into more a bit about it all tomorrow. Yeah, we don't know Especially what to expect really. We, the place itself doesn't yeah. look anything special at all so far. But I do know there is some good parts to it. Especially so. internet though. That's a massive thing. Everyone's going to yeah. be wondering how we're going to cope and how you would cope if you're coming. So we'll go into all that at a later date. Yeah, we're just we? working with rural internet at the moment trying to set yeah. us a router up. I yeah. think it's all set up. I think the only thing we need to do is turn data roaming on on the router. Right. Um, and to do that, we have to connect his phones to the router, and it's just not happening. So I'm just emailing back and forth with them at the moment. So hopefully that'll be sol sorted tomorrow. Brilliant service they are, aren't they? Right. right. See yeah. you all later. It's a long video <laughs> for you. Yeah. Um, don't know if you're going to get this tonight or not. We're going to try and I upload hope it so. on on as uh, some kind of mobile phone. data. Mobile yeah. data. We'll catch yeah. you all tomorrow. Love you all. Thanks bye bye. for sticking with us. See you tomorrow. In Spain. In Spain. España. Vila la España. Vila. 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 I don't know what it is. <laughs>